Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa mea sa ala, ko holoyimla, ya hawa, baha sim, ya hawa shai, baha sim, ka hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awah, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Wanted to touch on this article uh, where they had this new red flag law in uh, Michigan here. And it's done went into effect. So um, it's saying intense debate. 35 Michigan residents ordered to surrender firearms under state's new red flag law, right? Okay, it says uh, Michigan's new safety law, including the red flag law, had been implemented a month ago and had been successful. According to the Michigan Associations of Chief of Police, the law allows the immediate seizure of firearms if a person is deemed a risk by police or mental health professionals so far 35 extreme risk protection orders have been issued and complied with so these edomites here in michigan you know they, you know it's a lot of malicious here they be up in them backwoods and shit you know them the ones that they already stacking and collecting for civil war you know what i'm saying it's those types of people that's you know kind of up in arms about this type of um law because they don't really have to have too much to just come through tap on your door and they will bring them people out. They'll, they'll SWAT team your ass. You know, all, all somebody got to do is say, he, um, he's acting erratic. Um, he, 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 he's not acting right. And he has a gun. <laughs> you know, and generally it'd be a lot of these women, you know what I'm saying, that call and do shit like that. But they can, you know, hell, it can be your neighbor across the street from you. Yeah, you know, well, you know what? He, he looks at me strange. You know, I have seen him with a gun before. And they may not have ever seen you with a gun, but all it takes is somebody calling 911 and, and basically, you know, saying that you're acting erratic, you're talking to yourself or you pacing or, you know, some shit like that. So this is a real slippery law, you know, <laughs> and Esau not going to take that well because Esau was gifted with that sword, man. You know, according to um the scriptures, man. Matter of fact, let's let's see. Let's go off into it. Now, this is Esau Edom. That's the biblical nationality for the so-called white man. And you um, Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. I think it's Genesis 27. So, like, you bear with me real quick. He was gifted with that sword, though. And that sword goes off into your modern-day weaponry. So, he went from a sword to a nuclear weapon. <laughs> this man hasn't slowed up or stopped, man. He, ha he has become expert and has... um perfected the weapon he perfected ways of uh uh you know um deleting people he can use food he can use water he can use um insects <laughs> he can use um you know viruses whatever the case may be he has used all those things as far as like you know um ways of deleting people and he's expert at it trust me when i tell you motherfucker then came up with a bomb that can take out continents man so you know he's ready you know, this is it. you can't say that this is not him, man. Let's get to the point here. Yep, let's just get to the point. Verse 39, Genesis 27 and 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. So that's the reason why they live in all the best places. And they have the best of the earth. You know, they have the best of things. Esau be li man, Esau living good. Or at least you know what I'm saying, where they falling off now. <laughs> but those elite ones, they for damn sure living spectacular, man. You couldn't even imagine the type of stuff that they eat and the type of stuff they really wear and you know their shoes are made to tailor fit them. They're not going to no damn foot locker. They're <laughs> they not going to no store. They're not going to the Gucci store. They're not going to the No, they have somebody come through and literally size them up at their house and 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 make their clothing shoes socks drawers whatever with you know to fit to fit them with perfect comfort you know they're not going and ordering no steak on no fucking menu man hell they probably have a whole goddamn bison right in front of him tortured and or or, or butchered rather 
you know what I'm saying, and, and, and cut him off just what he want right off a, a fresh live uh, uh, bison and throw the rest of it away. Just, I just want the steak <laughs> out of him. You know what I'm saying? This side, this man getting down, he's drinking the best of the wines. He's drinking the best of the liquors. You know, he's on these, you see some of these damn yachts, or at least, you, you know, you don't see the elite on no yachts. But just think about somebody like Jeff Bezos, which is a fucking welfare case to some of these people. But even Jeff Bezos, you know what I'm saying? He's living lovely, man. He's not lacking anything. This is their, their, their domain. This is their kingdom, right? So it goes on to say, this is the point right here. And by thy sword shalt thy live. He been living by that sword ever since he came into power. Running through nations, conquering them. You know what I'm saying? Taking the resources, um, enslaving the people, giving them their language, this English bullshit. And, uh, you know, just, just conquering them, taking them over. Giving them, um, you know, the type of curriculum that they want to have them in, in, in their schools and all this other stuff. You know, just seriously overtaking them. So Esau, he, he's been living great, man. So it's coming to a point where he's going to fall. He's falling as is. And see, when it comes to laws like this, they, man, back in the days, you never, you never would have came up with no shit like this. I don't give a fuck how crazy the motherfucker might have been. Because they've been crazy as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It says, and by thy sword shalt thy live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the, have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. So that's the reason why, you know, you got this tension between the so-called blacks and the so-called whites. See, the average person don't really know what's going on there. But that's always been going on. They've been fighting since the womb of Rebecca. But the point that I wanted to make is that sword is what he's living off of. And so by Esau coming through and see Esau is against Esau right now. The Egyptian is actually against the Egyptian because this is Esau that's coming up with these laws that's taking Esau's sword, which is his gift and his blessing, <laughs> which is ironic. So let's go a little bit more into it. Because, yeah, let's let's just get a little bit more. It says, A significant number of comments voiced concerns about the potential for the misuse of the law. These users worry that the law could be used to disarm law-abiding citizens based on unfounded claims or personal biases. That's what I was just talking about. They argued that the law could be slip, a slippery slope leading to a violation of their constitutional rights. They don't give a shit about that right now. Your rights been, they been got rid of them rights. People just, you know, don't just don't know it. But Esau going to fight tooth and nail, man, to keep those guns, man. They're not going to just give up them guns like that. It says, um, so government decides if you are a risk. That's concerning. This law is just asking for trouble. If someone lies about you. Then you lose your gun. Or if the government lies and says you're mentally unstable, then you lose your gun. All I see are red flags with this law. Like seriously, you know. If you get in, if you into a bad relationship with a woman and she knows that you got a couple of guns at the house, or whatever, whatever, you done broke up with her, ain't seen the bitch in six months. <laughs> you know, she can just have that one night of, of drinks and think on your ass, like, I'm gonna call that. Let them know he got them guns and he, you know, whatever, you know, it, it can go either way. It can be anybody calling on you and saying that, you know what? I see him pacing in his in his front yard. I don't know what's going on with him. You know, <laughs> hey, so this is a beautiful thing, though, because what, what we see, what I see is, let me get this real quick. The fall of Esau's kingdom. This is how, you know, one of the reasons how, you know, we're at the end again. Got to bring all this out, man. Ecclesiasticus uh, 25, verse 7. It says, There be nine things which I have um, judged in mine heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing. We're witnessing the fall of our enemies. You know how long Esau been running around the earth with that goddamn gun? Now, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, in, in a state like Michigan, where people go hunting, you know, this is a real a big hunting state. Um, Esau real big on them guns, man. No matter what Esau at, though, he real big on them guns. But most definitely, Michigan is one of those places, man. 
And the crazy thing is, is, you know, since um, COV-19 COV went down and a lot of crime has spiked in, in, in Detroit, you know, in all these different areas. And there have been a lot, man, look, motherfuckers been going to getting guns like crazy lately. A lot of women going to get guns. Then you got, I mean, it's everybody out here got a gun, man. <laughs> everybody out here got a gun and they carry him, man. It's a lot of shootouts, a lot of shootings, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is the fall of Esau's Edom kingdom when you see laws like this in a state like Michigan. It says, on the other hand, a few comments emphasize the importance of such laws in preventing dangerous situations and protecting public safety. They argue that the law is a significant step in gun control legislation and will be interesting to see its impact on public safety. Look, man. Y'all gonna disarm the, the, the abiding citizens of their guns and it's gonna be the criminals out here still with guns. You're not gonna get rid of, it's too many guns here. How the fuck you gonna get rid of all these guns? I think they said, man, <laughs> hey, the average so-called white household, don't, hey man, them motherfuckers got, man, psh, motherfuckers got a basement full of guns and some of them got old shit, you know what I'm saying, shit that they not supposed to have. Like uh, grenade launchers and fucking grenades. Things of that nature, man, you know? You, they, they, man, they got it's man, ain't no, it's the guns probably uh, it's probably a billion guns in, in 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 the continent of America, man. Easy. How you gonna get rid of all these guns, man? It says it's interesting to see the implementation of this, of these new laws. It will be important to monitor their effectiveness and impact on public safety. This is a significant step in gun control legislation. It will be interesting to see how it unfolds and what means. What it means for the future of gun ownership in the state. Look, man, these people out here getting their asses blasted on a day to day basis. What you doing about that? You can't keep up with that. You're not going to be able to run down everybody about no goddamn. And that ain't going to do nothing but make people just go ahead and hide their shit. You know what I'm saying? You might come across one or two of his guns in the crib, but if a motherfucker got some sense and he don't want something like that to happen to him, he's going to have some on stash, on, on stash, man. Come on, bro. That's just silly as hell. It says the public stance on the new red flag law in Michigan is divided. While some see it as a necessary measure to ensure public safety, others view it as a potential infringement on their constitutional rights. It is clear that the debate around gun control is a complex and heated one with strong opinions on both sides. And you know who've been trying to get them guns? You know who've been... Who, who been who been going for um, 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 the most? Fucking Joe Biden and his his campaign. Joe Biden been going hard as hell trying to get them guns out. You know they've been using every school shooting, every situation. Now you got situations where an actual law-abiding citizen had a gun and and saved lives. You know, and they're not looking like looking at that. They're not factoring that in. They're just look every single um, shooting. They're looking at it like you know well. We have to do something about these guns. Now, that's your Democratic side. The Republican side of things, they don't want nothing to do with that shit. they like, hey, look, man, you come and try and take my shit. Hey, we're going to have a problem. You know, you even got some of these so-called white people like they're going to shoot it out. It's been shootouts in America. I think that one that was out there in that bar in, in California, I think it was, with them bikers. Shit, man, they had an OK Corral out there, man. And see, it's coming to a point. It's coming to a head where... Esau is being pushed to the brink of just being out of control on a lot of levels. See that Revelation 12 and 12 where it talks about um, Esau, you know, is um, going to come down with great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. That goes into the regular civilians as well. The regular Edomites, the ones that's riding around with those big ass trucks and shit that you need a goddamn ladder to get into with the mud flaps on it. You know what I'm saying? The ones that's floating them, them damn Trumps, big ass Trump flags and shit. Hey man, them people, <laughs> they not going for it, bro. This big ass pit bull, man. I don't know where this motherfucker come. This dude, he just walking. Maybe it's his dog. I don't think it's his. I don't know. Nah, let me, let me do my thing, thing. Let me make a move real quick. <laughs> I don't trust these dogs, man. These dogs been tearing people asses apart too lately. Anyway, but let me get this though, since I mentioned that division, that divide, man, because this is what's going on right here. 
at Matthew 12. Yeah, dog walking with a bag in his mouth. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts. Damn, this motherfucker literally. This motherfucker got a bag in his mouth. Like it's just a. Maybe this. Uh, Slock it, y'all. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them Everything. Every kingdom. Divided against itself is brought to desolation in every city. Your house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? See, and Satan is divided against himself. This, these damn Edomites, they don't, you know, you got your Republicans, you got your Democrats, you got your left, your right. And then, of course, you got your, your LGB. You got them people. You got your your, your man. It's your non-binary. Your fucking straight people. Your your you name it. The kids don't like the parents. The parents don't like the kids. Everybody is divided, man. Divorce rate is through the damn roof. Divorces is 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 is, is number one in in America because no one can get along. Well, of course we know it really is just a woman that's on her you know doing what she do. But anyway, this place is divided. See these Edomites. You know when you think about it, that's their gift. I mean, if, but you got half the Edomites don't want nothing to do with their gift, <laughs> and, and 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 they're writing laws where they want the other ones, you know what I'm saying, to get rid of their gift. So they're like, hey man, look, hey, these people ready though. You've been, you know, you're seeing all these these. They got a new um um movie about to drop called Civil War. Can't wait to that drop. And I normally don't even go to the movies. I don't think I want to. I'm probably going to just wait it out and see, you know, what, it, what, what what's it going to drop on, you know. But um, they got that coming out. And also, you know, they, you know, that Leave the World Behind movie was a dope movie, too. To see, like, you know, they didn't go all off into it. But that Bushwick movie I did watch on um, recently. That was a pretty dope movie, too. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, you know, they had that one scene in there where those 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 little gangsters so to speak they had that you know they had a, they, they had guns but the people that was on the streets they were just getting gunned down they didn't have no protection so they was trying to get you know they kind of sent this big guy you know and this chick you know to go to this catholic church where all the people were and to let them know hey look we have enough weapons for you know we got weapons where we can protect ourselves y'all come and get them <laughs> you know what I'm saying So hey that's a good movie to watch If you can get up on that uh, that movie Bushwick Cause I have been hearing the elders talking about it And I seen it flash I'm like oh shit this is the movie they was talking about And then I watched it It was um, about two weeks ago Good movie too It was pretty straight It was kind of stupid in some ways You know but you know, you, I, you know I got the point of it But this country is divided man And this is one of the reasons When it comes to stuff like this Okay so this um it says what do you think? We invite our readers to share their views on the issue on this issue. Do you think the new red flag law is a necessary measure for public safety or do you see it as a potential infringement on constitutional rights? Well, I mean by law, it would be an infringement. You know what I'm saying? Especially that it's so loose that a person can just be like, "Oh, well, he's looking strange." <laughs> I don't trust him. You know, he's just looking strange and I think he has a gun. You know, next thing you know, some you know they SWAT hitting you, you know, banging your damn door in, man. So it 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 does go against that 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 constitutional hookup. But see, Esau don't care. He's getting rid of that. The, the elite, they hey, America is the last country to break down because they know that these people have those guns, man. Okay, it says, please share your thoughts and comments in the section below. I'm not sharing no goddamn sh um, thoughts. Cause see that that right there is nothing but Esau collecting data too. They want to know what the people think. You already know these these silly ass people. They in the comment boards, writing their life away. This person, Rick Walter, says, and, and yep, this Canton, Michigan. These all gonna these probably all gonna be Michigan hookups right here. And these are the places where these so called white people live at, man. And that that's got them guns. Canton, Michigan, is, Michigan is damn sure one of them. Um, potential infringement on their constitutional rights. Not potential. It is an infringement. Government violating constitutional rights without prior due process. People really need to start remembering that the government does not grant rights. It's the pur its purpose is to protect them. Yeah, all right. Rio Roy 65 from Harrison Township, Michigan. 
Total confiscation of weapons is the goal. Private property ownership is at risk. A Marxist socialist Bolshevik state will not win if citizens are armed. Canada has turned its citizens into subjects and now speech is going to be considered an imprisonment offense. The incremental erosion of freedom of, and rights. Democrats need to concentrate on criminals and crimes, not the common citizens. Hey, and this, hey, this person right here got a, a damn good comment here. Because Canada is over there on some bullshit. He's right about that private um, on, um, private property ownership hookup. Right? And that freedom of speech. What are we talking about? That um, We've been talking about that as of late. This uh, Amos... Amos um, 8 and 11, man, that's uh, uh, going into effect soon, man. And they're not, you know, they, you know, they, they really want to get rid of the, the brothers and, you know, the brothers off the highways and byways with the scriptures. But they going off into freedom of speech. They, they killing all that freedom of speech shit with all these 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 platforms that 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 go against what they what they say. And you can see how they how hard they went with COV. COV-19, um, you know, with the misinformation bullshit, because we lost a lot of channels. I, I lost at least 10 channels, you know, on the tube, man. Right? Amos 8 and 11, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but the hearing of the words of, of Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. See, that's the main point. You know what I'm saying? So this guy, he, that was a, a really good comment that he had right there. <clears throat> this person says, bury your guns and barrels. Don't make a map. <laughs> Just go by memory and they will never find them. And hopefully you don't also. <laughs> uh, says, it, um, this is Nova, Michigan. Like I said, these are all Michigan. These are all um, Edomites. And Nova, Michigan is a really nice place too, man. Shit, when I tell you, them motherfuckers out there living good. Them the ones out there where, you know, I can fit my house into their house like 10 times damn near. Their garage is my house. Matter of fact, their garage is like two of my houses. I mean, <laughs> straight up, really. This is a real, I was just out here like a couple of days ago. It says, this isn't socialism and a violation of U.S. Constitution. Governor Gretch has crossed the line. Now, now mind you, they was just trying to kidnap this lady few years back when she kind of first came into office she was on a lot of that bullshit that them republicans weren't liking and there was some guys that you know what i'm saying they ended up i think a few of them went to prison and they didn't really give them a lot of time like that but they had set it up to kidnap that bitch man <laughs> the governor straight up so that's where the scripture talks about um let me get that too i don't know why that keeps popping up that second address 15 In verse 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So, that was the scripture that came out when they was trying to kidnap this bitch, man. Because they didn't regard it. Hey, this is a sitting governor. Who tries to kidnap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, they was that pissed with her, though. Some um, some young-ass um, Edomite, um, 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 Edomite um, uh, uh, so-called white men. They didn't appear to be that old. It was like maybe about, I think, about 10 of them or so went on trial. They had the plan and all the setup, but they was in them backwoods, man. Some backwood Edomites. Okay, but it says, Governor Gretch, well, they call her Gretch, but her name is um, uh, Gretchen Whitmer, I think is her name, has crossed the line. Funny thing is, the illegals coming in have been ordered to surrender anything have not been ordered to surrender anything, are giving our tax dollars to violate the law of this country, and they're giving the rights to carry guns. That's crazy shit. So think about that. I ain't even, you know, they just gave um um you know what I'm saying uh, uh them uh, you know rights to actually bear arms. And speaking of that, somebody's shooting right now, and that shit was close as hell. God damn. <laughs> somebody on the block shooting. This person says, so a federal judge ruled that an illegal migrant can carry a firearm under the Second Amendment, but citizens need a permit? Yeah, I say not anymore. If the Second 
if the second is good enough for the illegal, then it's definitely good for a citizen. See? And that's crazy. And this is on um, Burton, Michigan. Like I said, all you know, all these going to be Michigan pretty much. They worry about the guns, but they don't worry about the terrorists that they've allowed into this country. Auburn Hills, Michigan. This is not my America. Mine has been taken over by criminals that steal from citizens. Their gang name is government, and they need to be taken down by the men with backbones in our in our America. The sky is not falling, feeling free. Feel free to stroll the streets with your AR. This person says, damn, Democrats are dangerous. Democrats are coming. This person says, Democrats are coming up with any law they can to infringe on the Second Amendment. And that, uh, this is Huntington Woods, Michigan. Somebody should read. Somebody should red flag Witless and her Communist Party. See that? Hey, Amen. Look at this person right here. I don't know. I see a lot of people more worried about their guns than keeping domestic violence victims shot from those guns. Man, look, motherfuckers beating bitches to death. What the hell are you talking about? I just see it was a lesson. I just done a. Uh, I just seen a. Uh, 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 they had an article with a with a chick beat her damn mama with a goddamn pot out of the kitchen. What the hell are you talking about? It don't take nothing for nobody to get down on your ass if it's domestic violence in the house. Shit, this go a long way. A, a elbow, a knee to the stomach go a long way. Yo, you can fuck somebody up with anything in the house. A goddamn cup, a plate. <laughs> There's knives in the drawers. You can get a motherfucking fork and fuck somebody up. Here you go. This motherfucker talking about some damn domestic violence, man. You know, it ain't going to make no difference. If that person, if it's going down in the house like that, it's just, hey, all that person can do is, is, is get that call in. And a lot of these, you know what I'm saying, domestic violence victims, you know, they, they ain't trying to leave. People be knowing that they're getting fucked up. People be trying to give them help. They don't want to leave a lot of the times. Anyway. Ugh. It says, people always say restraining orders are just a piece of paper, right? They may find other ways, but why make it easier? Nothing is perfect. As long as there are people, there will always be people who abuse those laws. There will need to be punishment in place for those who falsely report to deter that. But that's not what they're talking about. Hell, you can call the police on somebody and a lot of shit, a lot of like, hey, shit, it's, it's with, the, with the, the bitch down there that... That, that, that had people looking for her ass, talking about she had got kidnapped. They giving her a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of, uh, uh, little, little, little troubles, but not the shit that she should be getting, you ask me. You got the damn brick lady. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole, it's a whole host of people that's out here fronting as if shit done happened to them and they're not getting any, any time for it. It's chicks out here that's, that's accusing guys of great then come to find out they didn't do anything they didn't even do it they didn't lost careers they didn't lost their jobs they didn't lost their house their car you know all kinds of shit and guess what she's still out here roaming around free there's nothing being done about that shit so it says um it's concerning to see so many people more worried about their guns than human life but that's the norm in this country look man if, if a person is trying to protect their home and shit. Well, hey, isn't it the law of the land to protect your home if you got a, a a gun? So, come on, man. Say for instance, somebody got it out for you, and they know that you got guns, right? They can set it up and say, uh, uh well, you know, he was acting erratic. He waved the gun at me. So now the police come through and take his guns. He's in his house. The people that's got the beef with him, now they can just come on through and just whatever. With the guns. They got the guns to come through. You know, I'm just making a scenario. Bad example, but I mean, you get what I'm saying. This person says, Governor Dictator Whitmer <laughs> says, can't you say violation of our civil rights when this is Flint, Michigan. When when are we going to stand together and stop this dictatorship? And see, you can see the, the majority of the people, they're not with this shit. This is a person from St. Joseph, Michigan. Never even heard of that shit. These laws are unconstitutional. This needs to be taken up to the Supreme Court. Hastings, Michigan. I never heard of that place, neither. Any officer or mental health professional can deem anyone or everyone a risk if the political party wants to strip every citizen of their rights to bear arms. Yep, yep, yep. 
Grass Lake, Michigan. Never even heard of this place. See, these are all places, man. Michigan is, is a huge state. These are all places. I never even heard of none of these places. I'm just here in Detroit. <laughs> it says, what is the return process? How long? Will you get everything back? Haven't heard anything about this. I'm sure it will be a lengthy process and costly, possibly. Yeah, it's going to be lengthy and, and, and costly. Mount Clemens, Michigan. I'm not too far from there. So if they're, if they take your guns and ammo, refuse to give it back, then you should be giving money to compensate. Oh, uh, anyway. This person, uh, Cadillac, Michigan, heard of that before. It's unconstitutional. Livonia, Michigan, right up the street from me. Too many potential lunatics out there running around with guns. If you are a troublemaker, you lose your guns. Okay, well, yeah, that's not the problem. We can see that. I see what they're saying as far as that. But they're just saying it basically a motherfucker can just deem you unfit. You don't have to go and take no 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 psych evaluation. You don't have to go and you know you know what I'm saying. All they have to do is say up. Oh, nah, uh, -uh. no. Nope. They're the doctors now. They're the ones that's 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 you know with no credentials as far as you know saying if somebody is fucked up or not. Not the guy done been to court or woman done been to court a few times. They keep calling the police out. You know for a fact that on, on, on record, you know, he has a problem with, um, you know, anxieties and depression. He done been to court. You know, it's on record. You know what's good. Okay, okay. that's a, That might be something different there. But a person can actually just say, hey, look, I don't like this motherfucker, so I'm going to make up something against him. And I'm going to have his guns taken. And in the process, because see, eventually what's going to eventually happen is somebody going to get fucked up. It's going to be a standoff. Matter of fact. It was a, uh, they got a video, and this guy had a sweet ass Benz too, <laughs> but he was dragging the police, but he ended up, you know, backing that shit through a building, man, dragging some police trying to get away, so these people don't, they don't care nothing about nothing like that, but I will say, and I'm gonna end out here, let me get, um, another scripture though, see all these people in here, I wouldn't be in here commenting on that shit like how they commenting on it, that shit is retarded. Because now they got data and they know who you are. It's nothing for them to go off in there and find out who you are. After leaving your stupid ass comment. Because now they can see, okay, they're giving you, they're doing data tests. They want to see what people think about this. It's the same thing when, when COV19 went down. They was doing data tests. They were seeing who was with, you know, taking the jabby and who was not with taking the jabby. So now they have the, the information that they need for when the MOTB come around, that mark of the beauty and the beast. They know who's not going to want to take it and who's going to want to, you know, just going to just run up in line like um, it, 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 it's free food giving away. <laughs> uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of, advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of how this man moved. He's collecting data right now. And these dumbass Edomites is in here just giving up all the info. And they can they can deem, especially since this, you know, that governor was, you know, attempted, you know, they had an attempted kidnapping on her ass. They can look at some of these comments and come and swoop up on you. Which I am not tripping on. And they can come get come get Esau. But Esau are not gonna um, lay down them guns, man. They're not gonna lay down those guns. <laughs> Forget about that. See, the, the, all these these people that, that that you seen in the comments, those are Republicans. And then you seen, you know, that the one or two doofy ass Democrats, you know, that 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 just don't make no damn sense. But anyway, and I'm not no gun advocate because shit, I ain't with no guns and shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, hey, if you live in a problem area, <laughs> you know, and you got family, man, you got a wife, you got uh, little babies, you know, children. You know what I'm saying? Shit, man. You know they do. I think they got a shotgun law. When you can keep a shotgun or whatever at you, um, you know, in your in your residence, you know what I'm saying. But see, they're not worried about stuff like shotguns and, uh, uh, you know, regular old handguns and shit like that, or revolver or some shit, you know, not necessarily. They're worried about these semi-automatics, man. <laughs> these drums, them fucking clips. You know, niggas got clips taped together. All they gotta do is pop that bitch out and flip it. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit they worried about. You know what I'm saying? A goddamn Gatling gun. Some shit that'll shoot, you know what I'm saying? A hundred rounds, in, you know, a hundred rounds in, in 30 seconds, man. They, they looking for that. This is what Esau is worried about. And, and Esau got it, man. Esau got some weapons, man. Don't think he don't. He's sitting on it, man. That's his gift. But 
I just seen this and I just wanted to chop it up on that man for a hot sec. So just know that the scripture says to, you know, walk circumspectly, you know, because the days are evil, roughly paraphrasing. Be wise, you know. Because this is the type of shit that pisses Esau off. Like them real, real, them real Edomites, the ones that's, you know, that's not with none of that A, B, C, D, E, F, G shit. And, and they really feel like they're losing their country. These motherfuckers is ready to blow. <laughs> so be circumspect because things going to pop off. It's going to happen. It's, it's eventually going to happen. It's inevitable, inevitable man. It's going to pop off. It's already building. Just And look at this Trump shit. Look at this Trump and Biden shit that's going on. See, so why these Democrats out here talking about, oh, oh yeah, we should it. Them the ones that's walking up with a gun buyback. That's what they've been doing lately, too, with the gun buyback joints. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, you know, um, you know, uh, they don't ask no questions or whatever. And um, you can just bring whatever gun or whatever, you know, to a location and they'll give you like a gift card or something like that. But. See, that's them, them dumbass Democrats giving up their <laughs> shit, but the Republicans, they're like, oh, no, nah, man, that shit is stupid. We're not giving up no no guns, man, you know? They're not giving them up, man, for real, for real. So, hey, keep your head on the swivel, because shit is about to get nasty out here. And, uh, you know, I just so happen to live in one of them areas. I see these people. The area that I work in, the militias, they be jogging through the park, man, with military fatigues on, man, with their big-ass flags and shit. They open with it. They're open with it. Big stupid ass Trump flags. They open with it. They they let you know. They proud, man. <laughs> to let you know what what American they are. And, and that that um that that trailer that's on with that Civil War movie. He the, the guy says, I'm an American. He said, What kind of American? <laughs> so hey, shit about to get grimy out here, man. So hey, I just wanted to touch on this real quick. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that, Kwame Yashala.